Hi hey everyone, Brett again, how to scale modeling, looking at another new kit, this time mini art. All you guys who watch know that I build everything, I'm not stuck in one genre. I always usually have one armor, one aircraft, and one car kit on the go, because it's three different styles to me. And I generally don't have um, burnout, um, what's the word everyone uses? I can't think of it right now. But anyway, I usually don't get burned out on building because I've always got something I can switch to. If I'm tired of one thing, I can do another. This really caught my eye. So I bought three of them because if you look here, you got decals for three different schemes. And I can make one brand new, one all raggedy and beaten up, and one in between. Might even put one in a World War II diorama. So you got yourself here a Lefferwagen Type 170V German Beer Delivery Car, Kit 30, sorry, 38035 from Miniart. Uh, different languages saying different things. Like I said, three different versions. It even includes the beer for you to carry. So instructions one bag eat this one bag thing this isn't even a resealable one bag this bag's not going to survive the experiment multicolored plastic the decal and the clear parts are in the same bag. A little envelope of something. And let's get started with... My Typhoon just fell off the stand. With these body panels. Here you have the fenders, the floor, one of the seats, side panels. It's not your typical car kit, it's all one piece, which, you know, that's fine. It's more of a armor style. There's your front windshield. Um, there's texture on the top of the roof panel. And there's some detail underneath. There's also ejector pins underneath. And ejector pin on top of the roof panel. And the side panels. And the back of the cab. So when we put together we'll have to see how much is actually going to be seen. I think this is the instrument panel. I think. I'm not 100% sure but I think. But it is good looking plastic. It is in 35th scale. Remember that. This isn't your normal 24th, 25th scale car. This is designed to go along with World War II, World War I, well not World War I, World War II dioramas. And here we have our engine covers and the side panels. And this is our instrument panel, so that other part, I don't know what that was. You got a differential. You have a separate frame, which is always nice on a car. The other seat, the steering wheel. Gear shift. There's a lot of little delicate parts in here. I wonder if this has an engine. And you know what? I think, yeah. These vents here. Cut out. There's the top of the engine. Let's look at the top first before we get on the nitpicky of the ejector pins. Instrument panel. Um, this is another set of fenders. So I'm guessing, depending which version you do, this one's got extra seating in it. This one's got four seats. This one's only got two. Or you leave the seats out and you don't leave the seats out. Interesting. Radiator. Like I said, the steering wheel looks really good. Now, I was going to show you here. Ejector pins under the hood. So if you're going to leave your hood open, you have to clean all these up. But very nice. These are the actual bumpers, front and rear. Just like they were then with the little chrome parts there. Or painted whatever color you want. And leaf springs. Running boards look really good. Ooh, there's some serious ejector pin mark that's going to be cleaned up under there where you put the rear axle. And we have interesting 
serious leaf sp or springs, not leaf springs, and there is an engine in here. I love it. Doors and door inserts, even little like the pockets you'd have in the doors. Got a Mercedes logo right there for one of the grills, and one grill without the logo. But these springs are actually springy. Look at these springs. They're actual springs, plastic springs. Wow. And there's your door inserts. So the inside of the doors can have ejector print marks because you have these inserts to go in place. Front door, back door. I did not notice this was a four door. I'm guessing some versions are four door, some versions are two door. There's your engine which you can wire up and make nice and all those tiny little little delicate details which is why I'm surprised this isn't in separate bags. Okay, we have it's another seat and some door handles. And these are the kind of tires that get to put together in layers. Which don't bother me at all because it shows some really nice tread patterns as long as you clean up all these ejector pin marks or all these attachment points before you put them together. But yeah, steering wheels, window cranks, seat detail, there's your tire detail, your hubs, five, five lug huds, five lug nuts. This is a matching sprue. Then we've got some wood grain. These are the crates. These are your beers. Your beers. Oh, here's your spare tire. Sorry, forgot your spare tire. Your beer. Your beer bottles. Your green beer bottles. I'd say brown, but they're kind of purple. And two more crates. You got four crates. Two cases of green beer. Two cases of red beer. And this looks like part of your transmission that came off. Don't lose that. So you've got your beers. And here we have a little bit of photo etch. Uh, the ring for inside your steering wheel, your radiator cap. This looks like parts of your frame and engine. It was right side up the first time. It's covered in plastic. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic. But nice little touch. They so stick a little photo etch and a little protective case. And in here we have clear parts and decals, which we are going to open to see what kind of beer we have. So, as you can see with your clear parts, they are nice and clear. So, I can't tell what kind of beer we have. These are all your beer decals. One of you Germans, I'm assuming it's this kind of beer that the decals are for. And then these are your beer labels. And your license plates. Pretty sweet. This is just going to be downright fun. So I'm going to turn it like this because I don't want the clear parts scratching the decals. And I'm going to put it back in the bag. So I don't want the world scratching the clear parts. And last, we have an instruction manual. Which shows us highly detailed, all doors can be posed open or closed, photo etched parts, clear parts, decal for three variants, bottles and boxes included. Okay. Scheme number one. The Mainburg, Germany, 30s and 40s. Scheme number two. Don't ask me to pronounce it. It is also two door. Where's the four-door version? Hmm. There's your clear parts, your sprue maps, your decals, your photo edge parts. Doesn't have anything blued out that you're not using, which of course you can't use two frames, two fenders. There's that beautiful engine going on that frame. Transmission I told you about that came off. Don't lose it. You need a piece of wire. 
2.2 millimeter wire, 13 millimeters long for break hoses. And this is apparently how you fold it. I like that. Good touch. Okay, differential engine, springs, frame, exhaust. You're going to want to paint all this up before you put it together because you'll never get it painted if you don't. Attaching all of that to the bottom. Now I would paint the fenders and stuff before I attach the frame to it. Fuel tank, pedals. Uh, what's that on top? Tools? Horns? Lights? I don't know. Mirrors? And seats, instrument panel with decals, fuel tank going in up front, and then all your side panels going on. Here's you putting your different sections of your tires together. Like I said, they go together in layers. And then paint those before you put them on, of course. And your spare tire goes slides right in there. And door. Open variant and close variant for the door. Radiator. And there's your hood. And your side panels for your hood, which you can do open or close. Well, I guess if you do it open, it folds into there so you wouldn't see those ejector pin marks anyway. Clever. There's the handles. There are going to be a lot of delicate tiny parts on this. You have to decide which way for your headlights to be. Look at step 45 for selection. Still don't see a four-door version. And there's how you put your beer crates together, how you put your beer in, how you put your mirrors on, depending which way you want it. This looks like an accelerator pedal on the outside, but we know it's not. So two different ways for your mirrors. And then there's another two-door version in blue. And I guess there's another version of this vehicle coming out with four doors. And you can buy some civilians, some tram passengers. I already have vodka crates, I have wine crates, I don't have champagne. I think I have the beer bottles, I know I have the tools. I think I have the milk cartons. So, you can get all these accessories to go along with it. I'm going to have to give me some German civilians, I think. There you have it. Something new, something different. Something unique. Something that just looks fun. Agreed? So, show me what you're going to do with this kit. Sit down, build it. That was a license plate frame, not part of the instruments. See? You learn something just by looking at the box art. Look, there's even a dent. There's a dent in the part. Let me check. No, there is no dent in the part. There's just a dent in the box art. But you can dent that easy. A little heat dented. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little bit interesting, something a little bit different sprue review. Thanks. Have a wonderful day.